Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you another tutorial. All right, so you have your dimmable lights uh, added into Home Assistant, and uh, unfortunately, in order to uh, you know change the brightness level, you actually have to click on the light every time. As you can see here, uh, I'm kind of showing you what, what how that works. You click on the light, and then of course you have to scroll down until you see where the the sliding bar is, and you can ch adjust the brightness. Uh, however you want. Well, it's kind of annoying. I mean, it'd be nice to just have it right there on the front end so that right underneath your lights, you just, you know, you can change the brightness without having to have to click on anything. So this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. All right, so to give you an idea of what you need um, in order to um, make this setup work and be functional, uh, for starters, I'm working with a... Uh, a dimmable light switch that I have in a, uh, you know, added via MQTT. Um, so as you can see here, uh, here's my configuration for that light switch. The most important part of an MQTT light switch uh, for dimmable features is that you need a brightness state topic and a brightness command topic defined. Um, so you got to make sure you have both of those. Once you have the light configured, um, the next thing you're going to need is we need to define an input slider. So let's go down here where our input slider is, and uh, this is my configuration for my uh, input slider. So I set the initial at 5. You can kind of set it at whatever you want. Um, I did mine, at least for this particular switch, is on a scale of uh, you know 1 to 100. So I set the min to 1 and max to 99. And you can step up by one. Now you can change that to whatever you want. Um, All right, I've showed you the input slider, so now let's look at the automation. Now, of course, in order for the slider to actually change the brightness, you have to have an automation defined. So this is my configuration for that. And I'll put all this stuff in the description so that you can uh, just copy and paste it and tweak it to what, however your equipment is. But as you can see, for the most part, it's going to trigger on, on uh, the changing of the state of the input slider. And by, by changing the state, it's basically going to do an MQTT publish to that particular topic for uh, that dimmable light switch. You just set the payload to basically be the state of that uh, input slider. So uh, it was on a scale of 1 to 99. So whatever you set it to, that's what it's going to be in the payload. So once you have all those defined... Um, that's really all you need. Um, I'm going to make sure I have them added to my um, test view and uh, on, on my web front end just so that I kind of have everything easy to see. So I'll scroll down to my test view down here. We'll add the input slider for the uh, living room dimmer that we just set up. We'll go ahead and save that. And of course, let's restart Home Assistant for those changes to take effect. All right, so here we are on the left side. I have the um, uh, Smart Things app, so you can see the light there. And, uh, and then on the right side, I have the um, Home Assistant web interface uh, with light and the slider there as well. So you'll notice as we make changes um, in Home Assistant that those changes will show up in uh, the SmartThings app. You know, it takes a couple of seconds, but. Uh so there you are. That's how you add in a uh, brightness slider for a MQTT dimmable light. Um, 
I'm going to show you one other one um, that you can set up that's uh, basically doing the same thing, but instead of it being an MQTT light, uh, we're going to do a Philips Hue bulb. So uh, here we are back in our configuration uh, YAML. So I'm just going to show you, of course, here's where I have my uh, Hue bulb defined down there in, under uh, under light. So of course you have to have that. Um, next, uh, let's see, uh, you'll need to have your input slider, of course, so let's uh, take a look at that. Alright, we'll just add it underneath the one that we already set up for the living room. Let's give this one a name. We'll call this one uh, GR Brightness. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and update the other one just so we know which one's which. We'll put an LR in front of that one because that's my living room. Um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and make the initial B5 again. Now for the Philips Hue bulbs, they go on a scale of 1 to 255, so I'm going to set the max at 254. Um, just to give it a little bit broader scale. And step one again. All right, so let's save that. Next, let's look at the uh, automation. So we're just gonna add it underneath uh, the, uh, the first one that we had. So let me scroll down here. We'll call this one GR slider. It's basically going to look the same as the uh, as the first one, with just a, a few minor changes as far as the action that is performed. So of course we'll set the initial state to on. That's just for the automation itself. Um, if you if you don't, sometimes by when you restart uh, Home Assistant, then those automations will be turned off. So I always set the initial state to on. All right, so for the trigger, we'll do it on state again. Of course, this will be for the, uh, the new input slider that we just created. Instead of an MQTT publish this time, we're going to do just a light.turn on. Um, and of course, in the data template, we'll define brightness level that we want to set it to. So, of course, this will be for the um, game room light. So, light.game room. Here's where we set the brightness. So this time, it's going to be a States dot input underscore slider dot gr underscore dimmer dot state. I'm just going to pipe that into an int. And that should be it for the automation. So about the same minor differences on how you define brightness. Uh, let's go ahead and add it to our test view that we have from earlier. So we'll be able to see it. So just underneath our game room light, I'll just go ahead and add another line in here for the slider. All right, save that. Now we're going to restart Home Assistant again for those changes to take effect. All right, so let's see what that's going to look like. So on the left, I have the um, the Philips Hue app on my uh, on my phone set up, and on the right, of course, uh, that is the Web GUI for uh, Home Assistant. So let's make some changes on that input slider and watch them change in the Philips Hue app. 
There is a little bit of a delay front on these Philips Hue bulbs, uh, just as it goes through the hub, I guess, so it takes a little bit longer to update. All right, there it goes. Let's try it again. All right, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. Um, <clears throat> I hope you like this video. Uh, again, I'll try to do a little quick tutorial, just a uh, you know, little customization that you can do uh, so you don't have to click on the light every time and go looking for the slider bar. You'll have it right there next to your light, making it easy to brighten or darken your room, however you want. Uh, guys, uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And, of course, if there are any tutorials that you want to see that I don't already have out there, please let me know. I'll try to get something put together for you guys. Um, otherwise, I'll see you all around. Thanks.